Welcome to this presentation. My name is Roger Fortune and I'm a Technical Solutions Consultant here at Matricon. In this presentation we'll cover why we need to archive data, the traditional model for doing this, as well as the OPC based solution. We'll take a look at the latest version of Matricon OPC Desktop Historian 5.1 and finish up with a short demonstration. So let's start with the benefits of a data historian. We all know that real-time data enables our plant to run. Having access to historical data allows us to understand how our plant has been running and enable us to run it better. A data historian collects real-time data and allows us to rewind to a point in the past, perhaps for root cause investigation of a problem. We can also trend the archive data to give a larger picture of what our plant is doing. Now that we've covered the importance of archiving our data, let's take a look at some of the available solutions. Here is an example of a traditional plant historian. Real-time data is collected from the various devices into the historian where that data is archived. Although this model works, one of the major downsides is that the data is locked up by the vendor of the historian, and in many cases can only be accessed by using the vendor supplied tools. Customers like yourself got frustrated with this restriction. There had to be a better way. And this leads us on to the OPC-based solution. We know that OPC allows for open standard connectivity by design. OPC DA is the specification that covers real-time data access, and OPC HDA covers historical data access. Utilizing this technology, we can take a better, more open approach to archiving data. Taking the OPC route, we are not locked into specific vendors for real-time drivers or analytic tools. So how does it work? Let's take a closer look at an OPC-based data historian. The OPC-based data historian contains three key components. Firstly, an OPC DA client which enables the historian to connect to OPC DA servers in order to collect real-time data. The next piece is the archiver or core component. This part is responsible for taking the collected data and storing it to disk. And lastly, an OPC HDA server which allows external OPC HDA enabled tools to connect to the data archive and access the stored data. This OPC solution allows for a much more open and less restrictive model. An example of an OPC based data historian is the Matricon OPC Desktop Historian. An example of an OPC based data historian is the Matricon OPC Desktop Historian. It allows you to collect your real time data via an OPC DA server and then expose the stored data using an OPC HDA enabled tool, such as a trender or report package. This approach allows you to turn sometimes meaningless data into information. Recently, Matricon released Desktop Historian version 5.1. Let's take a look at some of the exciting new features that have been built onto an already great example of an OPC-based historian. First up, Desktop Historian is now a multi-instance capable product. This means we can install multiple instances of Desktop Historian on the one computer. You could use this functionality to segregate your plant into local areas or maybe for load balancing. This also means a huge increase in the possible archive tag count. Previously, Desktop Historian was good to about 15,000 tags per install. In version 5.1, you can configure up to 10 instances with 15,000 tags per instance which gives us a possible 150,000 total tag count. Previously, Matricon gave you a Microsoft add-in menu item that allowed for Desktop Historian to be configured in Microsoft Excel. Although a great feature that is still present in version 5.1, the downside was that you needed Excel to be installed on the Desktop Historian PC to utilize this. There is now, in addition to the existing functionality, 
a CSV import export facility. This allows you to bulk import tags to be archived into Desktop Historian using a simple comma separated value file. You can now create the configuration ahead of time and ship it to site with the installer. Another great feature of the Matricon OPC Desktop Historian is the built-in store and forward functionality, which is sometimes called hub and spoke. If you have multiple plants that are geographically dispersed, why not consider forwarding the data from Desktop Historian at your local plants back to a central location? Because of the open nature of OPC, your local sites can access the archived data locally whilst enabling your head office to also access the data. This was possible in the past using Matricon OPC Desktop Historian and HistoryLink. In the new version, Matricon makes it easier for you to install and configure this system. When you install Matricon Desktop Historian, you are given the option of a standalone or hub and spoke installation. If you choose hub and spoke, Matricon History Link is also installed. Configuration is also covered. Both products are integrated into the same GUI for ease of use. We'll now take a look at Matricon OPC Desktop Historian in a short demonstration. The first thing to show is the multi-instance configuration tool. From here you can maintain your instances. I've added a second instance for the purpose of this demonstration. Let's take a look at the Desktop Historian Configuration GUI now. The tree on the left allows for easy navigation. You can see the two instances we have configured. This is where you configure Desktop Historian to archive your tags. As an example, I'll add some tags from the Matricon OPC server for simulation, which is included with the installation. The tags chosen are now archiving. For bulk imports to this configuration area, these new buttons allow for CSV import and export. While we have the GUI open, you can see how HistoryLink product has been nicely integrated in here. This saves you time in not having to open a separate GUI. The Scheduled Transfer tab is where you can configure the data from Desktop Historian to be pushed to another HDA OPC server. Note that this option will only be available if you choose Hub and Spoke when installing. 